What's up YouTubers and YouTube gamers, Zombie Heads here with a guide on how to highlight a clip from your past live video game stream, or in general if you want to use a YouTube video editor, this is how you make a pretty awesome video. So you need to go to your video manager to start out, so you can access the create menu here on the left. One thing I want to point out is that if your video is over two hours long, you will not be able to edit it this way as of September of 2015. I just, uh, they just barely let me squeak by this video. It's two hours and six minutes. It's a live gaming broadcast I did just the other day, so we're gonna use that as the example. So you clicked on the Create menu. Go right under here where it's highlighted in red to Video Editor. Now, just to show you how you can edit this, um, let me drag, this is gonna be a clip that I'm gonna use at the end of my video. I highly suggest if you have a uh, something to spice up your video, such as photos or a little intro or outro video, use them. It actually makes it look a lot better and you get some more likes. So click here on preview effects side by side with the original video. If you like this setup, you'll see the original on the left, the video you're changing on the right. For example, I'm gonna click on filters and use this little sepia filter. Now you can see on the right what it looks like. To unapply a filter, just for future knowledge, just click on it again. And as you see, it is back to normal. Next, we're going to go to up here, uh, click on this X, and I'll bring you back to this menu. And we're going to pick the photo, the camera picture. I'm using a photograph. You can upload photos. It's awesome to use in your videos if you have uh, the ability to make thumbnails and things like that. Add photos to project. Right up here, upload photos if you need to upload some. I've already done it with this one. This is the photo I want to use. I'm going to hit the X to delete this clip right here and let's begin making our video. I'm going to drag my photo right here. Now with your video here, I'm going to hit the play button to let it play to about three seconds. One, two, three. I'm going to pause it. Now if you check out this little, this little tool right here, the scissors, this line right here, you click on the scissors to split the video right where I want it at about three seconds. Three seconds is good for an intro. I'm going to hit the X right here to delete the uh, extra two seconds that I don't want. Okay, now follow up here where I'm going to click on this video icon, the video camera icon. So let's find, this is the uh, two hour and six minutes. I'm thankful that they actually let me do it. The two hour and 20 minute video was just not able to be edited in this program. So here we have, um, it brings up automatically your new menu here. Now I'm going to want to find as you see, it's highlighted in blue. Uh, you click on one, it highlights it in blue. It's only going to play that clip. As you see here, it's only highlighting that. If you want to just have everything unselected, simply click off to the side or up above it. Right now, I'm trying to decide where I want to begin and end my highlight clips. So down the bottom right-hand corner, you can actually use this uh, zoom to zoom in. And you'll see here, this is the uh, live timeline. It's going to scroll. You can zoom in even farther if you like. And of course you can zoom out where it would look like this. But you're, I'm basically using up here, I'm gonna pause where I want it to begin. We'll pause it when I get up top. Um, another thing I can point out is that you can actually also just do this. Say you want to start it right here, you can click on this scissors while it's moving. So it split that clip. I'm going to pause this, I'm gonna zoom out. All right, this three minute and two segment is what I want to use. I'm going to hit the X to erase that section. Okay, and here we go. As you, as you see, it's just starting to play on its own. We're going to add some transitions later, but this is the entire clip I want. And one thing that's a little bit cooler than, I know if you're a gamer and you use Twitch to make highlights on YouTube gaming on their, uh, well, with YouTube in general, their editor, you can combine clips. I could drag in, as you saw earlier, I can have, I can use any video I want really and we can mix them all together and make an awesome montage if we want. But for right now, we're just gonna edit out of this one single video. Oh, and I almost forgot. You can let the video play live and you can actually zoom in and you can click to the right if you're just trying to jump through the video to find the spots that you want. And uh, of course, if you happen to accidentally pass it up, like I did right there, you can click to the left. And as always, if you find a spot, you wanna pause it and split it right there, you just hit uh, the pause button under your, your actual video and the player and then you can hit the scissors here to split it. So basically what I'd like you to do now is go and delete, split your clips and save all your highlights and delete all the stuff that you don't want. 
like I'm doing right now. And then we'll get on to adding transitions. Okay, so I've decided to use these two highlights from my past video game stream. And I'm going to use, uh, I'm gonna, this is the outro I'm going to use on all my videos. And I'm going to just drag that there. So now we have four, four little clips we're going to use. One is a photo. So let's pause it real here and uh, you click on these two little arrows facing each other. This is your transitions. I'm just going to do my favorite one. You, uh, feel free to, you can add slides, shapes. I'm just going to do cross blur. You grab cross, cross blur and just drag it down. See how to highlight in blue? Just hold it right over between the two, clip, two clips and there you go. Click the X here. I'm going to drag this cross blur over to this one. You know what? Hit this X. I'm going to drag this cross blur over to where the photo and video are. So now as you see we have, uh, you can watch it. Um, there, see how, how it looks? Okay, so we're ready to add some music to our video. So click right on this music note icon. And you see there's so many songs YouTube lets you use now. So let's drag this butcher's one in here. If you see it's a minute and 36 seconds long. Our video is a minute and 54 seconds long, but we're gonna use it anyway. You can drag it right over here, where it says drag audio here, let go. All right, and now let's click on off to the side so it plays the video too. And this is what it'll look like and sound like. All right, now see so you have this empty space here. To, your video track is, is going to be longer than your audio track in this case. We're gonna want on the loop butchers. You can actually pick another song if you want and drag it down here like Farmer and Adele. You know, but we're, we like butchers, we're gonna use butchers. We're gonna drag it down here and drop it off right there. And as you hear, most, most songs actually fade in and fade out pretty well and they sound good even if you loop them like this. So let's take a listen. All right, so doesn't sound too bad. Now the trickiest part with adding text. Now this is how I do it. Um, we're gonna go right here. We're going to, let's zoom in. Say you do wanna add some text. Let's say we're gonna, we're gonna add like uh, the best duel of August, all right? So let's say we wanna, we wanna add text for about five seconds. You're actually going to need to split your clip and watch what it is, we're, we were at eight seconds, right? We're now going to come over to let's say we like it right here okay we're gonna split it right here now you have this little segment this is how long you want your text to be let's go over here to where the A is alright let's pause this click on here alright we're going to add text get back to where the A is alright so here we go we're going to do a uh, Let's do a slide. We'll drag and drop it right here. Let's pause this. Okay, now here's where you can enter your text. See how it says enter text here? Let's say uh, best duel of August 2015. Oh, we have two duels, so let's say best duels of August 2015. All right. Uh, if you want, you can highlight it or something, and you can change the text. Let's use this Arvo. Okay? So that's what it's going to look like. Let's make it bold. You can change the color, whatever you want to do. All right, so uh, the reason why you have to split it, because if you don't and you just drag it on here, this text will overlay your whole video. So let's see what it looks like. All right, slides in. Slides out. All right. So, so like I was saying, if you would have, if you didn't split this clip and you drag it on here, that text will be here this entire clip. Uh, the only other way is you you would have to actually go back and um, you would have to you would actually have to disable the text. You can disable it so it won't show text, but do it this way. It's the easiest way that I've ever found. Something I probably should have said in the beginning is you want to save your uh, video. You can actually come back to it later. YouTube will save this if you actually, actually accidentally close the window or something happens or you leave. It, it should keep your project here, but just in case, in the beginning, you should title it and save it. Let's say Bear Video P1. 
PVP. All right, that's what we're gonna call this project. See, all changes saved. It, it saves them as you go. And the other thing I can suggest is make a practice run. Try it, uh, play around with this stuff for a little bit at first because if you don't, say you do mess up, there's actually no undo. The only thing you're gonna have to you're gonna have to um, revert this clip to original and then make all your edits in it again, which is sort of annoying. So just uh, practice so you, you don't have to make a mistake. It took me probably like four tries to really get it down where I can make a video flawlessly without uh, messing up. So we're all finished and proud of our video. I'm gonna come right up here to where it says create video. This blue tab. Something I like to do uh, just because I'm paranoid but I come over here to video manager first and I um, open it in a new tab because I want to see as soon as the um, video starts to render and process I like to edit it through here. So I'm going to hit um, create video. Now as you see it says we're processing this video check back later sorry about that. Alright and see uh, the description this is why I like to just go edit it over there. It says uh, you create this video with the YouTube video editor. So I'm going to click over here to my video manager. I'm going to refresh it. All right, as you see, there it is. Um, I actually changed the title, but Bet Bear PVP Best Duels. I'm going to just click on Edit It right here. Now, as I see, I, I have it listed to private, but if you want, you can change it so uh, it'll. You can make it public right now if you want, so everyone sees it as soon as it uploads. But I usually like to let it um, render first and give it a little bit of time so that uh, when someone does click on it, it's already processed and it looks as, as best as possible. Sometimes, if especially a big video, it'll uh, the video quality will not look that great until YouTube's done doing their thing. So right here, you know, so I'm going to add change my description, you know, uh, add some tags in here, okay, and uh, well, whatever else you do. <laughs> But uh, you get the idea, you've uploaded videos before, you know all about this stuff. But I um, hope I taught you at least the editing part and how to either just use the YouTube video maker in general or just um, to highlight a clip from your past YouTube gaming stream. So, um, all right, I'll include a little uh, scene of the final video here once we're done. And I thank you all for watching and stay tuned for some more YouTube gaming tutorials. Thank you. No. I think Stop. Thank <laughs> you.